Welcome to our Facebook Live daily update, Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. without fail. Little Bob Marley, natural mystic. Good evening, Yvonne Marsh, natural mystic, Deidre Melton. Y'all are the first two all the time. Troopers, Maurice Human Senior, appreciate you, brother. Colette Moses, how you doing? Mo Mo said so. Patricia Monica Salcedo, how are you? Ronnie Ronnie Vega, how you doing? This is little Bob Marley, in case you didn't know. I hope y'all saw that Bounty Killer and Beanie Man uh, versus. Ronnie Vega, how you doing? Candice Slocum, how are you? Good evening, Stephanie Brown Thomas. Good afternoon, thank you. Candy Sadiqua Hines, good evening. Shanika Williams, how are you? God bless you, golden child. God bless you and have an outstanding... Hope you had an outstanding weekend too. Qua Carter. Hello from EO. Hold it down up there in EO. I'll meet a sad. Good day. Dorothy Precious McCleave. Good evening. Willie Christmas. Back at it. Annette King. How are you? Deidre Poole. Good evening. Happy Memorial Day. Yes, Bob Marley. Ava Marie Pinho. Good evening. Happy Memorial Day. Denise Jones. Happy Memorial Day. Carla Henry. Good evening. Hold it down in Irvington. Linda Moore, good evening. Nina Page. Connie McQueen, good evening. Rosemarie Keelans, happy Memorial Day. Shanice Armstrong and Safania Cersei, good evening to you both. Abby Grubb, how are you? Ines Sophia Bilal. I got the tenant about, I got the message about 901 Burger Street. We went there. We'll be back there tomorrow. Spoke to the, to the landlord. Maria Silva, thank you for that. Sophia Bilal, appreciate you. Maria Silva, street cleaning is coming back. It's coming back. I'm going to announce uh, sometime this week uh, all of those particulars. Robin Scipio, how are you? Good evening, good afternoon. Levita Johnson, hold it down up there in the West Ward. Tell your mother I said hello. Susanna Mello, happy Memorial Day. Renee Holman, good afternoon. Lucy Small, happy Memorial Day. Simone Neal, yes, I know. I know. Amen Ramadan, thank you. Beatrice Langwa, good afternoon. Beatrice Langwa, good afternoon. Deidre Poole, there you go again. <laughs> that was Bob Marley. That was Bob Marley, y'all. You, you got you have to know Bob Marley. If you don't know anybody, you know Bob Marley. Anissa Baytops, how are you? Uh, Alibi Holmes, Louis Scott, Roundtree. Sharon Martina, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Teresa Hill, a couple of more. Nate Collins, Elaine Carter, good evening. Sister Tia White, peace and blessings. Lynn Wiggins, happy Memorial Day. Sheila Green, Olive Lowry, Simone Neal, Linda Bernard Johnson. Chrissy Diggs, Connie McCoy, good evening, good evening. Denise Jones, Nisa Thompson, Joan Marie Fouché, David Witherspoon. Yeah, I know it is, brother, badly. Stacy, good, good old, good old Gayer, good afternoon. Alana Quiles, there you go again. Luis Ortiz, I am. Bam Bam Howard, love that. Natasha Reynolds, happy Memorial Day. Dania Cruz, Cheryl Washington, going on and on. Rebecca Baker, Wenda Williams Robertson, good evening. Yes, I love that Bob Marley got me excited. Got me excited. Adrian Campbell, uh, Elegant Eyes has to pro provide a, uh, uh, a permit, a plan that will be available to them next week. Well, tomorrow, actually. Uh, they can get offline at Newark COVID-19 or the city's website to figure out how they can do curbside. Cole Turner, Jermaine Johnson, peace. Uh, Karima Anque, how are you? Rashida Meggett, Liz Panella. Churches are going to open soon, not next week, but soon with some social distancing involved. We'll let you know about that. Melissa Williams, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, Denise Jones, holding the line. Thank you. Thank you. Luz Davia, how are you? Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you, thank you. Let me get to this, uh, these numbers and all of this stuff. But I, I, but I, I want to address a few things first before I even get to any of that stuff. I just want to address a few things. So bear with me today, please. Got a few things to address. I put up a, a a post on Instagram about the 100,000 deaths that the United States has now encountered. 100,000 deaths in two months, not in a year, in two months, 100,000 deaths. And I anticipated uh, the, the negativity and foolishness People who, uh, you know, I really, I really, it's, it's, I'm really trying to figure out what's on people's mind, and um, I just want to shout out a couple of people who who was holding a line on there. You know, Encyclopedia Clown was holding a line, and Winnie Wonder and Milky Nikki, they were holding the line on that post, getting at these people who were putting out misinformation and craziness. I mean, it's bizarre. Uh, some of the stuff people said, like there's this lady who said, and I have to address this, there's this lady who believes that the doctors and the nurses have made this up. That and, and, and this is a, like an ongoing kind of uh, growing belief that, because you see all these crazy, uh, you know, kind of YouTube videos and things that they post uh, with these people who say doc they're doctors, but you never see their credentials, who tell you that people are making this stuff up. And 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 one thing, Winnie Wonder, who was the bomb, who said, "It's like you mean all of these people are in cahoots around the entire country. All the doctors and nurses in the whole country are conspiring collectively to make this up." Now I'm gonna go further than that for you, Winnie. I'm gonna go further than that for for, for you, right? So here, are all of the countries. I'm gonna list most of the countries that have positive COVID cases and deaths in their country. Positive COVID cases and deaths in their country. Besides the United States, who has the most. Brazil, Russia, United Kingdom, Spain, Italy, France, Germany, Turkey, India, Iran, Peru, Canada, China, Saudi Arabia, Chile, Mexico, Belgium, Pakistan, Netherlands, Qatar, Ecuador, Belarus, Bangladesh, Sweden, Singapore, Switzerland, Portugal, United Arab Emirates, Ireland, South Africa, Indonesia, Poland, Kuwait, Ukraine, Colombia, Romania, Israel, Japan, Egypt, Austria, Dominican Republic, Philippines, Denmark, Argentina, South Korea, Serbia, Afghanistan, Panama, Bahrain, Czech Republic, Norway, Kazakhstan, Algeria, Oman, Nigeria, Morocco, Malaysia, Australia, uh, Moldova, Ghana, Armenia, Finland, Bolivia, Iraq, Cameroon, Azerbaijan, Luxembourg, Honduras, Hungary, Sudan, Guinea, Uzbekistan, Guatemala, Senegal, Thailand, Tajikistan, Greece, Bulgaria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Ivory Coast, Djibouti, Croatia, Democratic Republic of the Congo, North Macedonia, Cuba, Gabon, El Salvador, Estonia, Iceland, Lithuania, Somalia, Slovakia, New Zealand, Slovenia, Kyrgyzstan, Maldives, Kenya, Sri Lanka, Guinea-Bissau, Lebanon, Tunisia, Latvia, Kosovo, Mali, Venezuela, Albania, Equatorial Guinea, Niger, Cyprus, Zambia, Costa Rica, Haiti, Paraguay, Burkina Faso, Uruguay, Andorra, Georgia, Jordan, Sierra Leone, Chad, San Marino, South Sudan, Malta, Nepal, Ethiopia, Central African Republic, Jamaica, Madagascar, Tanzania, Republic of the Congo, Taiwan, Occupy Palestine, Togo, Cape Verde, Mar Mauritius, Rwanda, Vietnam, Montenegro, Nicaragua, Liberia, Sao Tome, and Principe, Eswatini, uh, Mauritania, Yemen, Ma Myanmar, Uganda, Mozambique, Brunei, Mongolia, Benin, Guyana, Cambodia, Trinidad and Tobago, Bahamas, Monaco, Barbados, Liechtenstein, Malawi, Com Comoros, Libya, Syria, Angola, Zimbabwe, Burundi, Eritrea, Botswana, Antigua, and Barbuda, Gambia, Bhutan, East Timor, Grenada, Namibia, Laos, Belize, Fiji, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Dominica, St. Kitts, Vatican, the Vatican, you know, Sekali, Suriname, Papua New Guinea, Western Sahara, Lesotho, all of these places, all of these places have positive COVID-19 cases 
and many of them multiple deaths. So there has to be a global uh, uh, kind of conspiracy between all of these countries, some who are at war with one another, by the way, some who are at war with one another, uh, who, um, who have blockades and everything on each other, who would have to have conspired, the doctors and the nurses would have to have conspired together to invent this COVID-19 crisis. Come on, y'all. We have to use our brains here. We have to think, use common sense. Uh, you Don't try to justify your way out to the beauty parlor. Think about what it is that you're, you're, you're saying to people. Uh, there was a guy who also said only 350,000 people died around the country. Only 350,000 people. I mean, we are losing our humanity in this. I mean, it's bizarre. I mean, the kind of privilege to say only 350,000 people, which means that one of the 350,000 people was not his family. Uh, so uh, it's, it's deep. The last one was, uh, you know, <laughs> the person told me they're not going to follow the social distancing and wear masks because uh, our enemies created that. The CDC is telling us what to do. Uh, we should listen to the CDC. Uh, but I bet you they listened to the IRS when they got those stimulus checks. I bet you they didn't argue with the IRS. Tell them to send, send a stimulus check back uh, with the IRS. If you're not listening to the CDC, then you shouldn't listen to the IRS either, right? So it just doesn't make any sense that you wouldn't wear a mask and social distance uh, because you think it came from the CDC, but you're waiting for your, your, your stimulus check. Uh, 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 that you go to fast food restaurants and you wear these clothes and, 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 and you, you know, you on the internet, uh, you know, advertising them and all kinds of go on and on and on and on and on, but it makes no sense. You can't pick and choose, uh, when it's okay, uh, to listen to people, uh, who are governing this economy and governing everything else, uh, uh, uh when it benefits you, uh, when, when it, when it, when it is convenient for you, uh, you, you can do that. Right. So I, I just had to address those things, y'all, because uh, people are actually liking that stuff and, and sending it around. I want you guys, you know, look, look you, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to the CDC. I just want you to listen to the facts and the evidence and begin to protect your own family. Look, social distancing isn't like a scientific, uh, uh, you know, rocket scientist analysis. Social distancing just means stay away from people because you're sick. That's a natural thing to do. When people are sick, they stay away from people. And, we, and people want you to stay away from them when they're sick. That when, when you're sick, they don't want you around them when they're sick. They don't want you to come to work. They don't want you around them. They don't want you to get them sick. That's what social distancing means. Stay away from me when you're sick. And then you have the presence of mind to stay away from other people. Same thing with wearing a mask, man. You wear a mask because you don't want to infect other people. That's what it's about. It is not like a special uh, secret code uh, that they're giving us to destroy us. Come on, y'all. Come on, please, please. Come on. It's it's almost aggravating some of the stuff that that people have up there. Um, um, that we even listen to it, man. Newark positive cases: seven thousand forty-five positive cases. Seven thousand forty-five positive cases. Yesterday there was seven thousand twenty-eight. It was an increase of seventeen. Good news today. Uh, uh, the good news is not the 561 deaths uh, that was yesterday, 561 deaths we had yesterday. The good news is today we have no deaths, no new deaths today. Nobody has died on this day, May 25th, 2020, in the middle of the COVID crisis in the city of Newark on May, 20, May 25th, wisdom power, nobody died today, by the grace of God. 561 deaths yesterday, no new deaths today. Thank God for that weather, right? Thank God for the rain on Saturday. Thank God for the chill on Sunday. Thank God to tone it down today, cooled us out a little bit, gave us a chance to be patient, uh, 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 not rushing out here, doing things that we probably shouldn't have been doing anyway. By the grace of God, we thank you for uh, tempering us with the weather this weekend. You know, and, and no new deaths. Thank you. And, and only 17 increase. I do want to say something when I get to the zip code stuff. So so you listen up. Uh, Essex County has 17,248 positive cases with 1,598 deaths. New Jersey has 154,180 positive cases with 11,132 11, deaths. Uh, confirmed positive cases by zip code 07102, 245, 07103, 781. 0704, 1403, 
07105 1066, 07106 723, 07107 1048, 07108 548, 07112 553, 07114 288. Deaths by zip code 07102 27, 07103 101, 07104 117, 07105 42, 07106 67, 07107 69, 07108 64. 0711249, So last time I told you the, the percent of decrease, when we first started, the, the highest uh, cases we had or the highest peak or week we had was April 5th through 11th was the highest number of cases that we had uh, and probably the highest number of deaths that we had in that one week. We had an enormous amount of cases uh, in that one week. Uh, we have, by the grace of God, been going down steadily since then. Uh, the last number I gave y'all for the week was May 10th through May 16th. May 10th through May 16th, we had incredible decreases by everybody. Every zip code went down tremendously. The bad news is uh, the, for the week of May 17th to May 23rd, all of us went up slightly. All of us went up in our zip codes slightly, right? We all went up. So we do have a decrease, but it, it, it's made the decrease smaller since the uh, um, first peak that we had. Uh, altogether, the whole city went up 1%. We went up one percentage point. You have to keep in mind that we're doing uh, 100%, more than 100% more testing than we did uh, April 5th through 11th. So you will get some of the ebbs and flows like that. Uh, we are now at about four, a 14% positivity rate. Uh, but April 5th, April 11th, we were at a 68% positivity rate, 67, 68% positivity rate. Uh, the May 7th, the May 23rd, week May 17th, the May 23rd, we were at we were at a 14%. The week before that, uh, uh, the week before that, we were at 13%. So we had a 14%. Uh, we want to get to 10%, y'all. We want to get to 10%. That's what we want to get to. 10%. So we have a lot of work to do uh, uh, still in our areas. Um, so let's 07104 last week, we May 10th to May 16th, y'all had 96 cases from the week of May 17th to May 23rd, we went from 96 to 148, right? So uh, that's that's too many cases, y'all. We have to we 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 have to talk to people about being outside. 07107, which was one of the high numbers, so I'm saying the high ones, was at 71 positive cases May 10th to the 16th. You went to 76, so you only went up five cases. So 07107 is kind of really holding the line there. You, you want to continue to, to, to hold those numbers low. 07108 uh, is another place that, that went up only six cases. Uh, the places that went up 07112 uh, only went up uh, two cases. 07112 went up two cases, uh, and uh, the only zip code that received uh, uh, less cases than they did the pre previous week was 07102. 07102 went from 15 to 13. It went from 51 to 15 to 13. So they actually have a larger percent percentage decrease than they did before. So they have negative 13%, and they're holding the line for us in 07102. Look, y'all, we got we have to continue. Don't 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 give up. Uh we, we're we're in the fourth quarter. We were down by 25. Now we down by eight. We have two minutes left on the clock. Uh we have a pain in our side. We tired. Uh we we have to run uh, uh run these last few plays, hold the ball, shoot when necessary, get us over the finish line, uh, win this game, win this game, and we win it, we win it, we win it by being disciplined, by being focused, by not losing sight of our goal, making sure that, in fact, uh, we continue to do what we've been doing for all of this time. We do not want to destroy all of the games we made in two months uh, in a couple of days. So this is for the businesses that have been, uh, you know, on our back. Business reopening applications are now available. They're now available. Doesn't mean you're going to open tomorrow. It means it's an application that's going to be available for you. Uh, uh, all businesses have to apply for, uh, for a reopening permit, and the reopening permit, uh, you have to uh, 
you know, there's recommended precautions if you're just trying to do curbside or in store. There's things that you have to do in order to open up. There's heavy things that you have to do. You go to NewarkCovid19.com, NewarkCovid19.com, and www.NewarkNJ.gov slash business licenses. www.NewarkNJ.gov slash business licenses. Uh, you have to uh, fill out an application um, uh, online uh, and follow the guidelines. You'll get a color code that tells people if it's red, if it's yellow, if it's blue uh, uh, for your establishment. You have to fill those out. Tomorrow by 1, we will also have physical copies of the application available for business owners that do not have internet access. If you're a business, listen, you need to be trying to get internet access. You need that right now. If you don't have a way for, for people to order or, or, or even call in and order, you're not going to be able to do curbside anyway. Uh, those those uh, physical applications will be available uh, at Invest Newark at 111 Mulberry Street. Uh, Ironbound Business Improvement District at 56 Congress Street, South Ward Special Improvement District at 1049 Bergen Street, Partnership for West Special Improvement District, Partnership West Special Improvement District at 1044 South Orange Avenue, and the Bloomfield Avenue Lower Broadway Business Improvement District at 228 North 15th Street. Uh, completed applications can be submitted via email, uh, or you can drop them off uh, the, the, in the application. They'll tell you mail and instructions, but you have to get them in. You cannot open without filling out this opening permit, are we going to shut you down? If we find out that you're open anyway without following any guidelines, we're going to shut you down permanently and take your business license from you. If you're sneaking, listen, if you were a barber or a beauty parlor or sneaking people in the side door that we had to shut down, you're going to have to come to court and and, and justify why you should, in fact, be, be let over or that you jeopardize people's lives. So, I mean, listen, that's people are going to call. They're going to be upset, but that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, that's exactly uh, what, what needs to happen. Uh, just because you fill out an application, too, does not guarantee uh, that we will allow you to open up. It is us trying to see if you're ready, if you're prepared, and, and it is not tomorrow, but you need to fill it out tomorrow, but it's not going to open tomorrow. We still have a ways to go. you got a couple of weeks to go. Uh, we have to get our numbers close to 10%. We're at 13% now. You heard what I told you, and that means that we have to do better at social distancing. So the quicker, the, the better we are at social distancing, wearing our masks when we're outside, doing the things we need to do, the quicker we can... Uh, begin to move towards opening up, but not a, not a day sooner, not a moment sooner. When you're outside, wear a mask, wear gloves, and don't wear your gloves all day. Bring multiple gloves so you can change those gloves and throw your gloves in the garbage, not on the sidewalk, not on the street, for people to pick up and pass your, your the virus around that way. Throw it in the garbage, please. Uh, multiple gloves, not one glove, multiple gloves. Or if you wear uh, gloves that are not rubber, per gloves that you have, you take them home and you wash them. You wash them periodically uh, uh, when, when you wear them. But please be careful because you can spread the virus with those gloves on. Uh, just, just want you to be aware of that. Uh, we're having a Newark Women, Women's Day of Wellness uh, this Thursday, April, tw excuse me, May 28th. We are having a virtual Women's Day of Wellness. Register by May 27th at NewarkWomen.Eventbrite.com. NewarkWomen.Eventbrite.com. Uh, it's Newark. Newark's Women's Day of Wellness, NewarkWomen.Eventbrite.com. Topics of being present, having a safe space, bossing up, protecting your net worth, womb wellness, and the new normal. There will also be a prize, a praise break, excuse me, and a virtual happy hour, too. Wow, the sisters get busy, uh, y'all. We have to copy off of them. Reminder, you can get uh, to get tested. Uh, now you can go, you, you, could be, you, have, you could have been gone here, Mary Eliza Mahoney Health Center, but now we're opening up. Uh, for everybody, uh, this Tuesday, tomorrow, uh, and this Thursday uh, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then at June 1st, it'll be open every day from 9 to 3, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3. Starting June 1st, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, you can get tested at the Mary Eliza Mahoney Health Center uh, down there on U University Avenue. Uh, it's our health care center in Newark. Uh, you can call 800-734-7083, 800-734-7083. And you can go to any of our additional testing sites that we've been had. Uh, Ann Street School, Sharp James Kenneth Gibson Recreation Aquatic Center on Rome Street, Boylan Street Rec, Branchville Park Roller Skating Rink, City Plex on Springfield Avenue, and 155 Mount, Ple Mount Pleasant, right? You don't have to have symptoms. You can go to any of these places. You don't have to have insurance. You can go to any of these places. Somebody called me on open line asking me a question that was old, old, old. 
We're telling you if you do have insurance, you can use it. We would like you to use insurance. If you have it, that means we don't have to pay for it. But if you don't have insurance, you can still go there and get tested. Any one of those testing sites. Please, we recommend that you make an appointment, but you don't have to have an appointment. We recommend uh, that you make an appointment, but you don't, in fact, have to have an appointment. Uh, you know, uh, tomorrow on our Facebook Live, it's gonna, we're going to have a great, great uh, uh, presentation for you. At 5, we bring in Erica Ford from New York City, Reverend Roundtree, Akila Shirell, Lakeisha Yuri. We're going to be talking about, uh, uh, you know, our education information group that goes out there. We're trying to give people information and education but uh, besides allowing just the police to interact with them and, and give them summons and, and get into confrontation because we don't want that. We have an education information committee that's been going out for at least a week now doing an awesome, awesome job led by Reverend Roundtree and the chief of staff. We we want to continue that. We're going to talk about that tomorrow and we and we need people to help us. So that's why we're talking about it. We need your help. Uh, we need you to, uh, in fact, um, um, figure out uh, how to help us uh, when we in your neighborhood, in your community. So listen, listen intently. Uh, there, there was something that I saw that I, I want to answer was our churches required to fill out this application. So we, we uh, are going to have a separate process for churches. We're going to have a separate kind of process for churches. Uh, we're going to ask, probably ask you to submit something to Reverend Roundtree uh, in our office of clergy uh, affairs. Uh, um, and, and and from that we'll begin to uh, talk about how uh, these churches and places of worship, places of worship, uh, begin to open up because we also talking about mass jets. Have to keep in mind some of these places are small, and uh, I just don't want people to think because we have these discussions about eventually open up that this thing is over. It's far from over. People are outside like it's over. They chilling like it's over. They acting like it's over. It's not over. If we continue on this path like it's over, we'll be back at the beginning. And you don't want to be back like we started on March 14th when it was a complete shutdown. Nobody could go anywhere. We couldn't do anything. If, if these numbers grow and grow and grow, that's exactly what's going to happen. So we have to be careful. We have to be cautious. And listen, this is the time that we move from government intervention to personal responsibility. You have to now, when we put these signs up, when we tell you what to do, you have to make decisions for your family. Listen, just because everybody is doing something doesn't mean you ought to. Just because everybody's going to the beach don't mean you should show up. Just because they invited you to the block party don't mean you should be there. Just because uh, 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 somebody's having a cookout uh, don't mean you should show up. Just because you're hanging around people and they're not wearing masks and gloves don't mean you shouldn't be wearing masks and gloves. And you should, in fact, tell them they should be wearing masks and gloves. And the last thing about that is Weekway Park, y'all keep posting these videos of you people in Weekway Park. I'm going to have a conversation with the county sheriff tomorrow on my 930 call. I have a conversation with the county at 930, 10 o'clock. I am going to talk about Weekway Park. So when the sheriff come over there, you don't have to say somebody told or somebody put on Facebook. The mayor is calling the sheriff on all of you folks that are in that park with your, without your mask. You have to wear your mask. And all of y'all that on them weight bars, the pull-up bars, the push-up bars, I know you guys think you're so strong that you can't get sick, but that's mythology. You can get sick. They are very uh, healthy people that have, in fact, gotten sick. And, and worse than that, some of you got kids, right? Some of you have lived with elders in your household. You around people lifting weights, touching the same bar that they touching, breathing on each other uh, in a close, confined space, and you're going to take it home to your family and to your relatives. Stay away from them workout spaces over there, especially if you, you work with people around there they don't have on masks and gloves. That is terrible. Stay away from there. And I'm going to send the county sheriff over there tomorrow to clear it up. So don't argue with them. Don't fuss at them. Don't cuss at them. Move. Move. Just go on about your business. And then y'all have a meeting uh, the next time about going over there and, uh, you know, wearing uh, the mask and the gloves. I'm going to send the education and information committee over there to give you all some real information about what's going on. Weekway Park uh, and the numbers of folks over there, the people right next to you getting tested for COVID and you over there doing push-ups on the bar with 10 people with your bare hands. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Let's think. Use our common sense here. Use our common sense. Let's stop the spread, not increase the spread. Stop the spread. Slow the spread. Stop the spread. Slow the spread. Stop the spread. Not increase the spread. Stay away from those workout boys. If you're walking around the track, that's cool. Walk around the track. Run around the track. Run around the field. It's big enough for you to be in there and social distance. Wear your mask 
all of those things, right? I wouldn't advise you to be in there in the first place, but if that's something that you have to do, then go in there with a mask and gloves. Don't risk your life, man. Don't risk your family's life. And if you have other ailments and you're doing that, then you are playing, you are living dangerously. You're very you're living very dangerously. So stay out, stay out of that park, man. Uh, if you're not gonna wear the things that you're wearing, because you're putting a bunch of people in jeopardy when you do that. Putting a bunch of people in jeopardy. So it's not a safe thing to do. Uh, we are gonna come out with uh with uh, 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 all, with with instructions around your little uh, barbecues that you want to have. We're gonna come out with instructions about that. Pay attention to those instructions. We're gonna, we're gonna come out with instructions. We're gonna come out. We're trying to help you get through this summer safely, without deaths in your family, without sickness in your family. We're trying to help you get through this summer. Wait for us. We're gonna put the stuff out so you can get it, so you can read it, uh, uh, so you can follow it. Please uh, uh, do what we're asking you to do. It, we, this won't kill you, but coronavirus will. Yep. I want to thank Just Teresita for sending me Kim Shuck's poem. I meant to read it the other day. Uh, Kim Shuck is a, 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 a poet from San Francisco, Asian poet from San Francisco, who wrote a quarantine poem, Quarantine Poem 24. I told y'all to look it up. I know some of y'all did. I love you for doing that. Uh, just, again, Encyclopedia Clown, Winnie Wonder, and Milky Nicky. Those, I had to shout those three out, put everybody aside. Those three, those are my troopers, my soldiers. Who, who was going hard in the paint uh, on the internet, making sure they defend all of the things that we're trying to do to keep people alive and safe. Choose life over death, y'all. Uh, write out your heart longhand as if you were trying your ship, uh, if you were tying your ship to the dock in home port. Write out your concerns for those on the street, those they are gathering, for those targeted in this time of pandemic, as some group always is. Let the small joys expand let them heal you because we need both empathy and care. Let us in these hills call one to another, one to another. Are you well? Stay well. You are loved. God bless y'all. Stay safe. Enjoy uh, Memorial Day with your families. See you tomorrow.